start with standard 12th statistic chapter 2 linear correlation in many situation necessity arise to study two or more variables example if we study yearly sale of a product of a company we would also like to know its profit as from this we can find the relation between these two variable that is sale of product and profit here is the example of which two variables we are going to study now the changes in the value of two variables are mainly due to following reason first one there is a cause effect relation between two variable or the value of two variable changes due to the effect of some other factor we'll see the details of these changes first one example of the cause effect relation between two variable if expenditure increase saving decrease and if expenditure decrease saving increase your expenditure is a cause and saving is the effect another reason is example of two variable value changes due to some other factor sometimes both the variables are dependent and neither can be specified as cause and effect for example in case of a sale of raincoat and sale of a rainy shoes the value of both the variable increase in monsoon there is no direct cause effect relation here between two variable but the changes in the sale of raincoat and rainy shoes are observed due to present in the third variable namely monsoon or we can say rain so here we are going to see what is correlation and linear correlation if there is a simultaneously changes in the value of two variable due to direct or indirect cause effect then it is said that there is a correlation between two variables the correlation is said to be a linear correlation if the points plotted on the graph paper corresponding to ordered pair of the value of two variables are in a line then correlation between variables are said to be a linear correlation this definition will be more clear when we'll start with the scatter diagram next there are two types of correlation one is the positive one is the negative correlation when the changes in the value of two correlation variable are in the same direction then it can be said a positive correlation and in negative correlation when the changes in the value of two correlated variable are in the opposite direction that time we can say it, it's a negative correlation so here correlation coefficient of correlation the measure of the strength of the linear correlation between two variables is called correlation coefficient which is denoted as r since correlation coefficient was first suggested by a statistician carl pearson it is also known as pearson correlation coefficient or product movement coefficient in this chapter we are going to learn the method of studying correlation these are the three methods first one is the scatter diagram method second one is the carl pearson product movement method and third one is the spearman's rank correlation method here i already wrote the exercise that where we are going to learn this method in detail so in this video i am going to continue with the first method that is a scatter diagram method that what exactly we are going to do in the exercise 2.1 here is the scatter diagram now when this is your x-axis here is the y-axis and we can see that the value of two correlated variables are in the same direction when it goes in the same direction in the perfect one line that can be said as a perfect positive correlation this points are very important while going through the scatter diagram you will be understand in more details when we'll start with the exercise but this is what you have to remember that if the lines are going in a perfect line it can be said as a perfect positive correlation in the same way this is the perfect negative correlation diagram 
when your when the diagram shows the changes of the value of two correlated variable in the opposite direction this is what the opposite direction when it shows in the opposite direction it can be says a perfect negative correlation next here you can see that the value of two correlated variable are going in a zigzag way when it go in the zigzag way but in the same direction then it can be said as a partial positive correlation in the same way if the value of two correlated variable are showing are in the zigzag way but it's showing on the opposite direction that is known as a partial negative correlation this is exactly a zigzag it's not going in the perfect line see if it go in the perfect line the dot should be over here but it is moved little bit here so it can be say as a perfect negative correlation now when the value of two correlated variable are showing something like this the bunch of a dots it not showing a line that means it's an absence of linear correlation now this all diagram will be get more clear and understandable with the solution of the exercise we'll continue with the same standard 12th chapter 2 linear correlation exercise 2.1 with the first question where we are going to draw a scatter diagram so let's start with the question a ball pen making company want to know the relation between the price in rupees and supply in 1000 unit of its most selling gel pen the following information is collect for it draw a scatter diagram and interpret it now here the prices of the ball pen is given and the monthly supply in 1000 unit which is given so out of this obviously this information look like a bar diagram but here we are going to draw a scatter diagram hope you understand how it has to be go with this so for this here my graph is ready where i kept the x axis and y axis where in the on y axis here i am going to keep monthly supply of 1000 unit and the price on x axis as here we can see the price starts from minimum number is 11 and the maximum number is 17 so which is going to be display on x axis for reducing the number like from 1 to 10 as the number is starting from 11 you can put this mark to show it the remaining has been moved from here and give the number as given in the price and in monthly supply here we can see the minimum is 12 and the maximum is 53 for this year i have to the distance of 1 cm with the 5000 unit which has to be shown in the scale that what you have kept on the x axis and on the y axis here i have shown x axis is showing the 1 cm of 1 rupees and y axis is showing 1 cm of 5000 unit so let's start with this for the price 14 the monthly supply is 35 so here we can see the 14 over here where this monthly monthly supply is 35 which can be seen till here you can see the number 35 here and 14 for the price so here i'm going to put one dot moving to the next for the price 16 monthly supply 50 units so for this price 16 monthly supply till 50 that you can do with scale next price 12 till monthly supply 20 price is 12 and monthly supply till 20 next price for price 11 monthly supply 12 price 11 and monthly supply till 12 so it will be somewhere here next for price 15 monthly supply 45 so for 15 we'll take it till 45 next for 13 till 30 here we can see 13 
and here is the 30 17 53 here is the 17 and 53 will be over here so here we can say that the changes in the price and supply are in a same direction but not in the same proportion so hence here we will declare it as a partial positive correlation price and supply so here you have to write down the interpretation that there is a partial positive correlation between the price and supply second question on your page number 66 a company manufactures RO plant for the factories the information about the advertisement cost for its sales and the profit from the sales of RO plant is given below here is the advertisement cost with the 10,000 and the profit at in lakhs First of all, let's take the advertisement cost on the x-axis and price on the y-axis. Here you can see the advertisement cost starts from the 5 and till 11 and profit starts from 8 and end till 13. So here we can see the advertisement here it's up to your wish if you want to start with the 1 you can start with the 1 as well. But here, as the information given in 5, just to show you, if you are cutting out some of the information like 1 to 4, you have to put such a mark as we have done in the last question. In the same way, I have done on the y-axis as well. So this is how you have to show if you are missing some of the numbers. After that, don't forget to write down the scale that what you have kept on the x-axis, that is 1 cm, 1 unit of 10,000. And y axis with the 1 centimeter of 1 unit in lakhs. No need to count, but this is what the distance of centimeter, 1 centimeter only. So you can start it directly. So let's start with the advertisement cost. When the advertisement cost is 5, the profit is 8. Here is the advertisement cost of 5, the profit is 8. Next, for advertisement 6, profit is 7. Here we can see the 6 and here is the 7. Next, for advertisement 7, profit is 8. Here is the advertisement, profit is 9. For advertisement 8, profit 10. For advertisement 9, profit is 13. So here we can see the 13. Next, when the advertisement 10, a profit is 12 when the advertisement is 11 the profit is 13 so here it is clear from this this scatter diagram that the change in the advertisement cost and profit are not in the same proportion hence we can see all the points are not on the same line so here we will say on interpretation that it is a partial positive correlation between advertisement and profit. this is how you have to complete your next second question moving to the next question number three which is given on your page number 67 the following information is collected to study the relationship between the minimum day temperature and sales of woolen cloths during a partial day of winter for six different cities so here we can see the information for the minimum day temperature in celsius here we can see the minimum is 5 and the maximum number is 24. Next, uh, sales of woolen cloths which is given in the 100 unit. Here we can see the minimum number 8 and the maximum 70. This has been displayed the minimum day temperature 
in Celsius has been displayed on the x-axis and the sales of the woolen cloths which has been displayed on the y-axis. You can see the minimum number which has been started by 5 and ending till 24. So here I took uh, the distance of 5 and over here uh, from 10, 10 to the 1000 units. So here I have wrote the scale x-axis with the 1 centimeter where 5 in one distance of 1 centimeter 5 celsius and in y-axis 1 centimeter with the 10,000 units. So let's start over here. The temperature is 12 where the cloths are 35. So for 12 we'll take from here till 35 which will go till here. Next for temperature 20 cloths 10 here is a 20 and woolen cloths till 10. Next for the minimum temperature 8, woolen cloths 45. So here we'll take 8 till 45 till here. Next is 5 till 70. Next 15 till 20 and uh, 24 till 8 it's here so here we can see it is clear from the scatter diagram that the points do not lie on the same line and there is a partial negative correlation between the temperature and the woolen cloth so let's write down here there is a partial negative correlation between minimum temperature minimum day temperature and sale of woolen clothes this is how you have to write down and here we complete exercise 2.1 let's move to the next exercise